My name is Jessica Dawson. I'm a music therapist here at Able Arts Work. And today we are going to be playing an instrument of your choice and express four different emotions while playing the instrument. And just as a disclaimer, I just wanna say that there is no one way or correct way to play an instrument for a specific emotion. The whole point of music is to express yourself and how you feel and what you think is right. These are just ideas or tips to kind of get your brain going. And if you're unsure of how to express an emotion through an instrument, this video will be great for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and grab our instrument. I'm gonna be using a drum for this video, but if you want a different instrument, that's totally fine too. With that, let's go ahead and get started. The first emotion I'm gonna be talking about is happiness. And in music, a lot of composers have tried to imitate happiness by playing music that's fast, upbeat, and kind of bouncy. And they do that because usually when someone is happy, the adrenaline's running, they're excited, they constantly wanna move, because they're not really worried about too much and they're happy where they're at. So I'm gonna play an example of what happiness sounds like to me. And after I play it, I'm gonna give you the chance to play how happiness sounds to you. This is how I view happiness through a drum. That's how I play happiness. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? I'm gonna keep a steady beat and I'll give you 20 seconds to play what happiness means to you. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Sounds great. beautiful nice job playing happiness on your instrument the second emotion I'm gonna be talking about is sadness and in music composers generally in the past have played sadness at a more slow tempo and it's kind of mellow and the reason why we do this is because typically when someone is sad they're usually pretty down low they're quiet um, and they just kind of lay low. They're not super outgoing because they're sad and they just kind of want to be to themselves. And again, everybody's different, but that's typically what uh, composers have gone to in the past. So let's go ahead and engage in an improvisation for sadness. I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna play what sadness means to me. And then I will give you the opportunity to show everyone else how you play sadness. So this is how I play sadness. And there we go. That's how I play sadness. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? I'll play a steady beat and let's see how you play sadness. Three, two, one, begin. Sounds beautiful. was beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. The third emotion I'm going to be talking about is anger. Now, typically, and again, everybody's different, but typically when someone's angry, um, they have a lot of built up resentment in them. So they might, some people might yell, some people um, might want to move around and kind of like punch a pillow or something. When we're angry, we typically want to let it out. And that's how we do it in music too. And composers have used anger as a way to be loud and abrupt and just kind of really insinuate or accentuate that anger. 
And so again, everybody's different. You can play your own way. So I'm going to play it how I view anger and then you can share as well. So here's how I view anger. Three, two, one, go. And there we go. That's how I play anger. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? I'll give you a steady beat and let's see how you play anger. Three, two, one, go. Keep it going. In three, two, one, and stop. Wow, that was great. I love hearing the different dynamics of how each of us play anger. Nice job. The fourth and final emotion I'm gonna be talking about is stress. Now, stress is a feeling that we feel when a conflict might arise or we start worrying about something. And for this emotion, I really want to focus on how to decrease stress and how we can do that through music. And through music, one way to decrease stress is to play at a slower tempo. Because usually when we feel stress, again, our adrenaline is kind of rushing, our blood pressure, our heart rate might rise. And so we want to decrease that to get to a more relaxing state. So I'm going to play a little improvisation if I was stressed and how I would decrease that stress. Three, two, one, begin. And that's how I would play it. I would slowly make it slower so that way I can follow the music and decrease my stress with the drum playing. So let's go ahead and see what you would like to play and how you would view um, yourself in decreasing your stress. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep a steady beat. You can go within it or out of it, whatever feels best to you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Excellent. Three, two, one, and stop. That was excellent. Thank you for sharing that with us. And there you have it. Those are four different emotions and four different ways to play those emotions. And I really hope you take these tips and ideas and your own improvisations um, into your home and into your life and use them as ways to just express yourself through music. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.